Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at a little rainy, but much windier day at AWSI. I'm here with Kevin. How you doing, sir? Good to see you, man. Elevate. You've got some great looking twin tips this year. Let's walk through them. Yeah, absolutely. So, ton of stuff in the lineup. This is actually uh, only a portion of what we have just because everyone's out of everything, as a lot of people know. But, yeah, the Master. That one's going to be the flagship. So, this is going to be uh, full carbon top sheet. This is going to be the, you know, the the big air competition uh, freestyle board. Used with straps. Can be used with boots as well because it does have those block inserts. Uh, but this one here, again, just total performance. Lightweight has that uh, double concave with the rail channels, 3D mold molded top, shape, uh, uh, top sheet as well. And then we also have this TRS system. So there's like a parabolic shape on the rail and that's gonna give more efficiency, more upwind ability, but also still keep the maneuverability for the transitions on the board. So again, this thing screams tech, it's kind of the latest and greatest high-end free ride board, also good for freestyle. And that's gonna be the Master C Plus. Going down here, we also have a regular version of the Master. So it still has all the tech of the Master C Plus, but doesn't have that full carbon top sheet. It does, however, have a carbon fiber stringer, which all of our boards do. So again, same shape, same outline, same everything, but you just don't have that added carbon. Kind of save a bit of money, but still have the performance that you have come to know from the Master. This here is the boot board. Freestyle can also be used with straps. A lot of our top riders are using this for both straps and uh, wake style. So a lot of versatility compared to a lot of other boards in this segment. This one has a three-stage rocker. So that three-stage rocker is going to give you the benefits of the early planing. You're going to have the nice rocker line on that. And it's still going to get you upwind, but it's also not going to break your knees on those landings. So ton of grip, ton of control, easy planing, and also really good for chopping conditions as well with that three-stage rocker. So this is the Commander. Again, can be used with boots, can be used with straps. But again, for top-end twin-tip performance, this is what the guys are using, Commander. Awesome. Now, now, wait a minute. We, we got to talk about this little bling bling here. Eh? You've been hiding this on me. Yeah, yeah. This is the new new tech, man. So this is on the process. This one here is going to be our free ride board, and this is the Revo handle. So what this does is it's going to allow you to essentially have two boards in one. You're able to flatten out the rocker line, and in doing so, you're also going to add a rigidity to the board. So with a twist of the handle here, you're able just to pop this over. Now it's going to be in that flat higher upwind capability, uh, a bit more rail in the water, and then pop it back down, more flex, more rocker. So again, if you're going to go upwind, go up to the spot, you want to change your board, not have to switch to a bigger board, this is really going to make a difference. Nice price point, it's going to run about 100 bucks, and it's really going to change the shape of your ride. So does this handle only work with this process board? Uh, no, actually this handle is actually very compatible. Now of course it's going to work the best with the Elevate boards, I mean I think that's clear, but um, it is compatible with anything with a pretty standard spacing. So about 70% of the boards on the market have the same spacing for handles, there's always a few outliers here and there, but most of the boards in the market, this will work with. Now, if it's a more rigid board in general, it's already super stiff. It's not going to you're not going to get as much inflection or much as much difference. But most of your free ride boards, most of the people that are going to want something like this, it will work for your board as well. Let's talk about the board itself. Yeah. So the process. So this is going to be our performance free ride board. Really kind of jack of all trades. Pairs really well with the RS. This is going to have a medium flex pattern, medium rocker line. Not necessarily as aggressive as the Master or the commander very user-friendly board but still has a lot of pop and performance so again this is going to be the process comes in a wide, wide range of sizes anything uh, from the low 30s all the way up to the 144 this is a really good board really excited about it we also have the ignition which is very similar to the process it doesn't have that carbon fiber uh, stringer but comes in 150 for their large for the larger riders or for those beginners looking for something that has performance but also gives you that light wind capability and early planning now, I know we didn't talk about all the sizes and all the really super technical stuff that you guys going on, carbon, rail lines, all that stuff. Where can they go and find that info? So, www.elevatekites.com, you can find all that info there. It's going to give you all the tech that you, uh, that you were talking about, colors, sizes, uh, nice demographic, what is it, uh, what's the right board for you. It's going to be very, very informative. We also have social media, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we got, you know, reps all over doing stuff for us. We got James Kamita up in Canada, Chris Bobrick here down in the States driving around the van showing off the stuff give us a call actionsportslogistics.com as well has information happy to answer any questions and get you on some gear awesome thank you very much sir thank you
Thank you.